This week's Walking Dead was nuts. I'm formally calling dibs on this episode, and dibs is dibs. We're gonna take a look at how some of the biggest moments from this week's episode played out in the comics, as well as make a few predictions as to what we think lies ahead for next week. Let's be clear, if you're trying to avoid spoilers, you'd have better luck picking up a turd by its clean end. Now let's do this. This story in the comic starts in a similar fashion with Eugene taking Abraham for a walk to check out the bullet factory. They don't bicker quite as much and before they can even get to said ammunition mill, somebody takes an arrow to the noggin. Abraham gets to the point in the comic version where, as we saw in the episode, Denise meets the William Tell wannabe. We audibly screamed when watching this scene. We'll miss you, Denise. This all takes place right outside the walls of Alexandria in the comics as bullets go flying and everyone is totally freaking out. On screen, it's a more intimate scene and Eugene's newfound bravery saves the day. We're in agreement with Abraham when he said, you know how to bite it. For real? Eugene. I'm well aware of that. In Ink, Eugene also takes a bite out of the swimsuit area of a character we are very excited to see. We love old Scar-Faced White, sore crotch or not. He's a great character within the series and provides some really cool dynamics. Other cool things from the episode that didn't come from the comics, Daryl gets his weapon of choice back to show Dwight how it's done. Abraham and Sasha are planning on making some breakfast together, and why, oh why, did Carol leave? Now, as for next week, we have one prediction. We have one big prediction. We see Rick's gang packing up for a confrontation at the end of this episode. We think that'll carry through most of next week as things start to go badly for the first time for Rick's group, and they find themselves captured, bound, and on their knees as time is running out for the episode. We predict that we'll see Negan step forward from the shadows with a big smirk, and he's got his favorite lady with him, a baseball bat wrapped in barbed wire named Lucille. We are freaking out over here waiting for Negan to show up. We realize it may be a bit premature to call the appearance of Negan, but our anticipation is probably getting the better of us. Either way, after a great episode like this week's, we can't wait to see what the rest of this season holds. Thanks for watching, and for all things Walking Dead, stick with IGN.